Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today hey folks today we're going to be doing a product review okay we're doing a product review for this company here called in gear all right I'm gonna hold this up here for you and see if I can read what's written on here it is the auto assist LED rechargeable work light okay so stay tuned friends and we're gonna open this thing up and we're gonna see how it works Okay, guys, the first thing we're going to do is unbox this thing, okay? And, you know, just like every other product today, they do all this plastic packaging. And you got to have a pretty good pair of scissors or tin snips to actually open up some of these products. So we're going to go ahead and do that right quick. And I think I'll cut it across here as well. And that should do it to where we can get everything out of here. Comes with a um, charging cable here that looks like you can plug it into a computer, it's USB, or you can plug it into a cigarette lighter adapter for your car. Comes with instructions as well. We'll take a look at those in just a moment. Well, let's go ahead and pull the light out, okay? Ooh, I just had another light flicker on up here above my work area. So here is the product, okay? It's a nice looking flashlight has a good weight about it looks like it's very well made let's see if it has a charge on it the uh, button here is on the back let's go ahead and push that one time and maybe it's not charged or maybe I'm just not pushing it right or something okay it must need to be charged okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and hook it up and let it charge for uh, several hours before we test it but First of all, let's take a look at some of the um, things that are written here on the uh, on the uh, insert that's inside here. It says that it is a LED rechargeable work light, uh, six SMD LED lights, okay, and 150 lumen. I'm assuming that's all combined. Impact resistant, weather resistant, 120 degree uh, flood light beam color temperature 6,000 to 7,000 K I'm not really sure what that means it says the runtime is up to five hours of runtime okay so we are going to charge this thing up and then we'll come back out here and we'll see how it works it also has a magnet here on the let's see if I got something I can stick it to well I don't right here at the moment maybe it'll stick to these cutting blades on here as you can see nice firm magnet there uh, to hold it in place and we'll put that underneath the hood of a car here in a little bit once we get it charged up and it also has a hook here on top to where you can hook it underneath um, the hood of a car or anything that you would want to hook it on if you're underneath the house maybe you can find something to hook it on to give you some light or what have you that's pretty neat so let me go ahead and we're going to charge this thing up and then we're going to continue on with our review Okay guys, quickly I want to show you how to hook this thing up to charge it. Here on the bottom of the light, you turn the bottom of it counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn and then the end will release. Okay, now there's a ground wire hooked to that so that'll just kind of hang out of the way and it won't fall off. And then you'll take your cable and plug it into the little port here on the bottom of the light. And what we've used here today is our, just our phone charger adapter. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the wall and we're gonna let this thing charge for a few hours, okay? Now we've noticed that there is a blue light flashing on here. I'm assuming when the blue light stops flashing or it goes off, it will be fully charged. So we'll come out here in an hour or so and we will continue on with the review. Now, after a few hours of charging, we went ahead and disconnected it. We capped the end back up. And let's go ahead and test this thing and see if it works. Oh yeah, it looks pretty bright. As you can see, it's lighting up the bench. Let's go ahead and flip the lights off and give it a real test. Okay guys, I went ahead and killed the lights, uh, the majority of the shop. I just got a few lights here at the back of the shop. As we go up this way, you'll be able to tell it's pretty dark in here right now. And we do have a little bit of natural light coming from a window over here, but it is a cloudy day. We're actually going through a tropical storm right now here. So we're underneath the hood of my Buick. Let's go ahead. We can tell we can hardly see anything. If we were on the side of the road at night, we definitely would 
be nice to have a light. So there you go. All right, guys, you can see with this light, even if there's just 150 lumens, that's actually pretty good for getting underneath the hood of a car and being able to uh, check your battery, jump start your battery, whatever you would need to be doing uh, on the roadside or what have you. Uh, actually, it would be really handy uh, as a mechanics light as well. Um, as additional light when working on a car. You know, a lot of these shops I've worked in over the years, they've been like dungeons. You know, there's no light, but here's what I like. It's got the little hook here. Let me pull it out with my finger here. You can hook it right here on your uh, hood. And look at there. I mean, you got a nice little light that kind of lights up everything. Or you can stick it as a magnet and it will hold itself upside down right there held to the car. So that is definitely a plus, I like that. You could be working on something right over here. You put the magnet there and it kind of help to uh, give you a little bit of light. Uh, one thing that might be even additional uh, thing is the fact that if you were stuck on the side of the road, you could actually put your light up on top of your car just so that uh, people driving by would know to be cautious. There's a white light shining in my face. I don't know what the deal is here, so let's back off a little bit. Let's make sure we don't run into this car that's broke down on the side of the road. I think this would be a really handy light. Let me uh, go cut the light back on the shop and we'll talk a little bit more about this. Okay, we're back underneath the hood. I've cut the lights back on the shop. Let's just flip it on now. As you can see, you can tell a change right there. It added some extra light. So if you're in a shop working or if I'm doing any type of repair on here, I mean, you know, it's going to be nice to have some extra light. I'm thinking I'm starting to like this light even a little bit more now. But uh, I'll probably use it a good bit when I work on cars. Um, I mean, I've used brighter flashlights before. I mean, I have a, I carry a 200 lumen um, flashlight in my pocket pretty much all the time. Uh, I have a, I think a 400 loom flashlight. I have a 600 one also that's a little bit bulky. I don't really carry it around a whole lot. I just use it mainly at the house. But uh, as you can see, this is a nice little light. Okay. Let's see. We, we're on right there. Let's cut it off right there. And you can see that it's definitely going to help out if you got to get down in here and do something. And the fact that it's got the hook on the end and the magnet as well is going to be perfect, you know, for having underneath the hood of a car. Okay, guys, sitting inside the car now, you know, I'm almost thinking, I think I want to leave this light inside this car. This might be my um, light that I use in case of an emergency or something because I can use my car charger to keep it charged. And also, right here, in the door pocket, I mean, it fits perfectly. You know, it'll probably fit in most uh, door pockets in most cars. I mean, that's a nice little place to keep it. And uh, it won't bang around or anything too much. So this might definitely be a light that I would use or recommend highly to have inside your vehicle. Okay, back here at the workbench, um, just want to talk a little bit more about the light. It is the InGear Auto Assist LED Rechargeable Work Light, okay? I really like the fact that it's rechargeable, and like I said, I definitely will probably use this. I keep this one in my car, although I'll probably use it a lot when I'm working on cars as well. But um, I will definitely find a link to this uh, product. And we'll have that down in the description uh, if you'd like to purchase one. Um, also, they make other lights as well. This here is the um, in gear retractable light. It actually just um, slings out, and you got a nice little light here as well. Now, this one is battery operated, and I will put a link down below as well for this light too. Okay, now it also has a push button feature just to use as a regular traditional flashlight or so as you can see it's pretty bright but uh, I'll put a link down below for that one as well but today we're mainly focusing on the uh, this rechargeable one okay 
Now we're going to do one final test. Uh, I think I got it fully charged. We're going to take it in the house tonight. And as I'm watching TV, we're going to look at the clock. And we're going to flip this sucker on. And I'm going to sit it up on the mantle. And maybe even turn it away from me so it doesn't blind me. But we're going to see. We're going to time it. We're going to see how many hours this thing will run before it actually goes dead. Okay. It says it'll go for five hours. Let's put it to the test. Back in the house now, folks, we are going to, this is my mantle here, and I'm going to go ahead and flip this light on. I'm going to be in this part of the house the majority of the rest of the evening, watching some TV, maybe checking out a good movie or so. And uh, it's exactly 6 p.m. right now, so we just flip the light on, and we'll let you know when it uh, goes off. Okay guys, hey, our um, light finally went out and it was three hours later, okay? It's about nine o'clock now and the light actually went out on its own and it stayed just like the same brightness it seemed like the whole time and then all of a sudden, bam, it was just out. So um, it, it says that it can go five hours. I may not have had uh, a full charge on it but I still think three hours is very good. And that definitely, I mean, when it goes out, bam, you plug it back in and you charge it up again. I'm very satisfied with it. Even with three hours life, that is plenty for me. Okay, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for our review today on the little um, auto assist rechargeable light here. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think it gives off a good amount of light um, for what it is. And I really like the fact that it's rechargeable. And I'm satisfied even with the three hour result that we got. Although I, I don't think I probably had it charged up all the way. And tonight I'm actually gonna recharge it, just let it charge all night. If our power don't go out, we're actually in the middle of a tropical storm right now. But uh, anyway, um, I'm happy with the light. I will find a uh, link uh, off of Amazon. And if you wanna purchase one of these yourself, you may. And also this other little cool light that flips out like that right there. Um, I will find it's by in gear also, and I will find you an affiliate link for that as well. All right, guys, thank you very much for stopping by and checking out our um, review video today. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out all the cool links down below. Have a great day.